In this part of our presentation, we're going to be discussing the lyrics of Blackbird by the Beatles. Now, in order to interpret the lyrics of the song Blackbird by the Beatles, one must take into consideration what was occurring at the time of, of the song's release. During this time period, as John Lennon, Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr, and George Harrison experienced a rise in fame, the civil rights movement was becoming evidently stronger and stronger in the United States of America. As the movement took place, the issues it was addressing caught Paul McCartney's attention. So much so that Paul began to think about how he himself, as a famous musician, could offer hope to those facing this difficult situation. As Paul says, I just thought it'd be really good if I could write something that, if it ever reached any of the people going through those problems, it might kind of give them a little bit of hope. This then led Paul to begin writing what would become one of his most recognized works of music and art. To this day, Black Bird is still a piece to be remembered by many. Having said this, in this interview, Paul went on to say that in the English culture, a bird is used as a descriptive and or slang word for a girl. With that, he then added the word black at the front of the word bird to describe a black lady going through those times of turmoil and oppression. One of the nice things about music is that you know that a lot of people listening to you are going to take seriously what you're going to say, he said. Then he went on to say that he understands that there are people out there who are facing such issues as those that were evident during the 1960s. With such an understanding, Mr. McCartney was then able to clearly express what he believed would offer hope for the African-American communities, especially those in the areas of Alabama and Mississippi at the time. With this in mind, one can fully make sense of what each lyrical section of Blackbird means, beginning with the first stanza. As stated with the, within the song, Blackbird singing in the dead of night, take these broken wings and learn to fly. All your life you were only waiting for the moment to arise. At first, this may sound unusual, especially since the blackbird is in fact supposed to represent a um, black lady. However, when further analyzing the words, the dead of night can be seen as the racial situation African Americans were facing. Since it seemed as though no one could hear their case, there can be a direct connection to the word dead. And yet, even though they were faced with such opposition, they must continue fighting for their rights so that their children can live in freedom. It can be said that for this reason, the lyrics then lead into Mr. McCartney suggesting that the blackbird had been waiting for a time when they would fly every bit of, with every bit of strength left in their wings. Moreover, the blackbird is then told to fly into the light of the dark black night. This is said not only once, but twice within what can be considered the chorus of the piece. There can be many reasons as to why one believes that such a contradiction of words was used. After all, an argument can be made that the idea of light and dark not mixing actually weakens the message of this piece. And yet, this all lies in one's ability to interpret the lyrics correctly. Having said this, it can be said that the light actually stands as a rep representation of a breakthrough through the hatred and hostility. In other words, there's a light at the end of this tunnel, as stated by a music group formerly known as Third Day in their song Tunnel. No matter how dark it gets, the light will shine through in the end. Furthermore, as one listens to the piece, they may understand just how influential such words as this particular piece, as mentioned, just how influential such words were at this particular time. As mentioned before, the song was intended to offer hope in a time when Oppression was unfortunately evident in the United States of America. Having said this, while the melodic line may have been different than what the, the target audience was used to hearing, the message resonated with their community. Don't give up! Through the composition and the lyrics of the piece, the Beatles were able to express their support and understanding for the civil rights movement. Not only that, but through such lyrics and expression, they had a great political influence on the youth of that era. One might even go as far as to say that because of such influential lyrics, the civil rights movement continued pressing through until finally the laws of segregation were decimated. Thankfully, because of this victory, in this country we are free to celebrate people of all races. And that was in fact the hope for Paul McCartney's Blackbird. <laughs>